While the US F-35C is still struggling with electromagnetic catapults, the deck of China's Fujian ship has been redrawn for the J-50, this towing hook locks, whether it is the carrier's arresting cable or the end of the hegemony of the Western Pacific. In the summer of 2025, a set of photos of the test flight of the J-50, like a boulder thrown into the deep water, has set off a thousand waves in the world of military observation. A set of photos of the J-50 test flight in the summer of 2025, like a boulder thrown into deep water, set off a thousand waves in the military observation circle. The sharp traction hook under the belly and the thick double-wheeled front landing gear were like a declaration engraved on steel, announcing the birth of the world's first sixth-generation naval aircraft. The twin-wheel structure is not a decoration, the width of the tires and the diameter of the cushioning struts are 30% thicker than those of the land-based model, and the energy-absorbing composite materials embedded inside are able to withstand the violent pull of more than 60 tons of the arresting ropes in an instant when the carrier is landing. The curvature of the towing hook has been simulated by 3,000 times to ensure that the success rate of the hook and cable reaches 99.7% when landing on the deck of the Fujian ship at 240 km hour. Behind these designs is the determination of Shenfiz engineers. They wrote the shipboard standards directly into the initial blueprints, rather than adding additional equipment at a later stage like the J-35. The transformation of Fujian ship at this moment confirms this ambition. The spacing of the deck electromagnetic catapult track has shrunk from 14.3 meters to 13.5 meters, the area of the parking area has been compressed by 20%, but the number of planes carried has increased to 60, and the munitions elevator well has been installed with a double unit loading system to adapt to the 6.2-meter long PL-21 hypersonic missiles. When the shadow of J-50 swept over the deck of the aircraft carrier for the first time, the Chinese Navy completed the genetic mutation from coastal defense to deep blue hunter. The disruptive nature of the J-50 has long transcended the scope of traditional warplane iterations. The abandonment of the three-less layout of drogue, flat tail and duckwing is ostensibly a demand for stealth, but actually a revolution in aerodynamic control. The outer section of the lambda wing is a hidden secret, the shape memory alloy skeleton drives the airfoil to complete a 55 degrees swept back angle and a 30 degrees small angle switch in 0.3 seconds, compressing the turning radius to 300 meters, equivalent to completing a sharp turn in a space the length of three soccer fields. The fully motorized wingtip shrinks like a blade during supersonic cruising, but spreads like a peacock screen during combat, and with the binary vectoring nozzle plus or minus 30 degrees deflection, it realizes zero speed destabilization, maneuvering that is unimaginable for traditional warplanes. The stealth performance pushes the laws of physics to the limit. The radar reflection area of 0.001 square meters originates from the forging of the three-layer technology furnace, nanoscale wave-absorbing coating doped with terbium rare earth compounds and silicon carbide fiber ratio after 217 experiments, and ultimately the X-band radar wave absorption efficiency is locked at 99%. DSI inlet and the fuselage of the sharp fusion of scattered waves to the harmless airspace, and the bihang eight years of plasma scanning technology, the fuselage surface to generate a layer of ionized air so that the radar waves such as a stream around the stone like a slide through the fuselage. When the F-15J of Japan Air Self-Defense Force is approached to 200 kilometers in the East China Sea exercise, the Terahertz radar in the nose of J-50 has completed the target locking at 400 kilometers, and the distributed photoelectric aperture in the belly of the aircraft is like a thousand-eyed giant around the aircraft which makes the cloud layer and the night color completely ineffective. The real art of killing came when the Gentoo artificial intelligence system spread its wings. With 500 megabytes per second of data transmission speed, the AI system is the nerve center of the battlefield, allowing a single J-50 to command eight Strike 11 drones to carry out chained hunts at the same time in the Thunder 24 exercise in the fall of 2024. A J-50 led the drone swarm to paralyze three blue air defense positions in 15 minutes, and the eye was able to predict the missile tracks with an accuracy of 92%. The eye's prediction of the missile trajectory was 92% accurate. Pilots in the cockpit witnessed the holographic projection of the battlefield sand table through her helmets, and the tactical decision-making was compressed from minutes to milliseconds. Some test pilots joked that the air war had turned into a real-time strategy game that competes with the speed of hands. This intergenerational crushing is geometrically amplified on Fujian ship. The ship has completed 187 electromagnetic catapults and eight sea trials with zero failure. 
and the 45-second charging interval is only one-third of that of the U.S. Ford class. The medium-voltage DC integrated power system pushes energy utilization to 90%, consuming only 1,200 kilowatt-hours for a single ejection, and the dual winding motors ensure that 85% of the ejection capability is maintained even if a single module fails. When the two WS15 improved engines burst 34 tons of thrust, the J50 can fully load 12 tons of ammunition at the 105-meter short takeoff point, completely ending the sadness of the J15's fuel and ammo reduction in the Liaoning era. The Fujian ship and J50's double sword combination is rewriting the code of naval and air warfare. J35 plays the role of stealth assassin, carrying 8 tons of ammunition to attack F-35C and Aegis ships in the air defense circle, while J-50 is the ruler of the airspace. 400 kilometers of detection radius with PL-21 hypersonic missiles, killing early warning aircraft, refueling planes and other force multipliers. The two aircraft form a deadly closed loop when the J-35 lowers the enemy radar on. The data chain instantly transmits the coordinates to the J-50 200 kilometers away, which commands the drone group to launch saturation strikes. This stealth decoy plus over-the-horizon hunting tactic created a horrible exchange ratio of 0.28 in the 2025 East China Sea maneuvers. The more far-reaching effect is the explosive growth of strategic deterrence radius. The J-50's 2,200-kilometer combat radius combined with the 650-kilometer detection radius of the Airborne Police 600 early warning aircraft will extend the Fujian ships. Striking reach to the west of Guam, the U.S. military's carefully constructed, distributed combat system has been hit by the bottom of the barrel. Palau Radar Station, Ammunition Depot on Tannen Island, and other key nodes were exposed to the carrier strike range for the first time. If with the Boom 6 and launched hypersonic anti-ship missiles, the entire second island chain will be reduced to a firepower cage. At this moment, the United States' sixth-generation aircraft program is in deep trouble, Boeing F-47 verification aircraft because of the system overload, controversy trapped in the plant. GAD program office in the congressional hearing admitted that the progress of the key subsystems lagged behind by 24 months. However, the three pulsating production lines in Shinfiz workshop are roaring day and night, and the cost of a single J-50 has been pressed down to 80 million US dollars, and the annual production has exceeded 40 aircraft. From the first flight of J-20 to the test flight of J-50 took only 14 years, 10 years shorter than the similar cycle in the US. Behind this is the comprehensive nirvana of China's aviation industry from materials to power. Aluminum alloy riveted fuselage is upgraded to carbon fiber unibody molding skin, and self-repairing materials can bridge bullet holes in flight. The 12.5-ton thrust of the Russian-made L31F metamorphosed into the 17.5-ton roar of the WS-15, and the manual of visual fighting was I millisecond and decision-making algorithmic air combat replaced. When the J-50's landing hook first bit into the Fujian ship's arresting cable, the sparks of metal friction illuminated a grander chess game. The Liaoning is being retrofitted with enlarged elevators to accommodate newer fighters, and the Sichuan is already flying the test flag as an electromagnetic catapult amphibious assault ship. Hudong Shipyard is launching new ships like dumplings at the rate of one a year, turning the ocean into a drill ground for the J-50. The U.S. military industrial complex is swallowing the bitter fruit. They were the first to propose the concept of a sixth-generation aircraft in 2008, but now China has copied the backyard with a physical fighter. The skies of the Western Pacific have never been so crowded. The roar of the F-22 over Okinawa is still ringing in our ears, and today the plasma skin of the J-50 is already reflecting the morning light east of Guam. This is not a simple replacement of equipment, but a paradigm shift in civilized competition. While the United States is rendering the future in PowerPoint, China has already forged its blueprints into sharp blades that skim the deck.